Good morning, Bitcoins! Today is Wednesday, May 7th, 2014, at 8.52 a.m. in Mesa, Arizona. A better mad Bitcoins deserves a better can. Here are today's mad bits. Bitcoin prices are up slightly, with Coindesk BPI reporting a last of 437, a high of 438, and a low of 423. Redcoin was steady at 5 satoshis a coin. Litecoin is at $10.46. This episode of Mad Bitcoins is sponsored by Redcoin. Meet Hash Fast, yet another mining manufacturer accused of fraud. Pre-ordering a Bitcoin miner seems to be a bit like playing Russian roulette with a fully loaded pistol. The more complicated the miner they're trying to make, the longer it takes to build and the more behind they get in their production, while the longer you wait, the more money you lose. Hash fast, like Butterfly Labs before it, is being sued for not delivering miners and by the time they delivered them, they were worthless. It's deja vu all over again. Bitcoin breakthroughs studied by banks. If you can't beat them, join them. Banks are now attempting to copy Bitcoin, creating Bitcoin for banks. Bitcoin for banks has all the great features of Bitcoin, but now with bank fees and tracking. Reminds me of when Blockbuster started those kiosks and then realized they had no reason for stores anymore. They could run their whole store from a kiosk. Then they went out of business and were replaced by Redbox. Looks like the banks want to compete with the Robocoin Bitcoin branch ATMs, which are already like a bank in a box. But there's no tellers and no management. Uh-oh. Infecting DVRs with Bitcoin mining malware even easier than you suspected and just as pointless. Just because you can do a thing doesn't mean that there's reasons to do a thing. Sure, you could hack a DVR to mine bitcoins, but it wouldn't actually mine any. So why would you hack a DVR to mine bitcoins? Other than the obvious reason. Because it was there. And because it makes a good paranoid media headline. Hackers are putting bitcoin miners into everything. Therefore, bitcoin is the currency of hackers. Not so fast there, media. It wasn't long ago that hackers were putting web browsers in your phones and making them smart. Seemed pretty exciting at the time. Red coins, proof of stake plus velocity algorithm. Bitcoin mining uses a proof of work or POW algorithm, i.e. if you solve really hard math problems, you get bitcoins. Other coins like black coin, peer coin, or white coin use proof of stake, i.e. you hold coins in your wallet and your wallet handles transactions for the network. Proof of stake encourages hoarding by miners because the more coins you have, the greater your reward. Proof of stake plus velocity, Redcoin's new minting algorithm attempts to solve this problem by making the coins that you stake in your wallet lose their effectiveness, similar to a radioactive half-life. The longer you stake those coins, the less staking value they have. This is intended to encourage red coin holders to move their coins around. Not entirely sure if this will solve the problem of hoarding, as the obvious solution is to move your coins from one wallet to another and keep minting. Or even better, write a script to do it for you automatically. But it sounds like a step in the right direction. This is my basic understanding of proof of stake plus velocity and I would like to know more. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, plus one us on Facebook, like us on Twitter, and follow us on YouTube. Until next time, this has been Mad Bitcoins. Mad Bitcoins? Mad Bitcoins. Sleeping very soundly on a Saturday morning, I was dreaming I was Al Capone. There's a rumor going round, got a clear out of town, I'm smelling like a dry fishbone. Here comes the law, gonna break down the door, gonna carry me away once more. 
Never, never, I never get it anymore. Gotta get away from this stone cold floor. Crazy. Stone cold crazy. You know. <laughs>